Hello and welcome to the Defender. So, this is uh, my mastery I could uh, achieve on the Defender. Uh, this tank, to be honest, is really freaking much fun to play. So, um, I did get it as a present and um, although I think it's quite expensive, I can tell or I can s at least uh, kind of say it's it's really fun to play. I'm not sure if you need to purchase it, but um, I 3 will do a similar job with less um, income, of course, but the gun handling overall is okay, although you will see me, like, you, you can say, snapshotting in this tank is not gonna work. So I 3 is much, much better with this, but um, most probably with the gun handling while driving or whatever, but... Um, yeah, there always needs to be something, right? It does have good, p very good penetration values. So, uh, 225 APCR, 265, which is like tier 10 medium um, average. Uh, the HE shells do have a good amount of damage, and the overall alpha is 440, which makes this tank really good in trading situations with, for example, an IS-3. So you have the same amount of uh, health, but you can much uh, trade out trade an IS-3 easily. So. Even like the tier 10, uh, the T10, the, the tier 9 uh, heavy tank of the Russians, which is more or less having the same alpha, like not more or less, it's having the same alpha, um, it's gonna not trade well against you, except the HP advantage it does have. But um, other than that, the weak spots, or obvious weak spots of this tank, are if you're shooting from below, you can shoot inside here. If you shoot from a little above, it's gonna be very easy to hit that part. If you're gonna shoot from the side, it's pretty obvious, although don't shoot this area here, right? Because, you know, Russian. Here I had an easy shot on the freaking T-64, but Arno22 thought like, ah, fuck this guy, fuck it. Um, we're advancing forward, making sure that we can uh, work with our gun, like unarming the quite long aiming time or overall not so super accurate gun. Um, not working out so far, we're quite far off the pace so f still, but we're gonna go closer. Yeah, and while we're tracked, we're gonna look at this beauty of a tank, because to be honest with this paintings and everything, this tank is just a freaking beauty. So, we see a T10, we are spotted. But that's not the problem. We just take a snapshot, <laughs> which was barely aimed. But yeah, well, you know, how do they say if you have a um, if you have a rule, there is nothing else than uh, nothing better than making it not be valid. So I'm not sure if you really say that, but still, I think you get the point. I'm not a native speaker, so I'll try my best here to not sound like a total pleb. Um. We have the super pushing here, going around him to make sure I get his side not willing to sacrifice another shot that will not penetrate or something like this, so... Um, here I'm taking my time really, obviously reloading but still. Nice shot into the front cheek of the T10. Um, and he's pretty much down, we did a lot of damage to him, I think three shots in total, which in this particular situation are 1200 damage, so it's only one shot we did connect on a tier 9 tank. I was pretty like confused when actually this got the mastery of uh, in this tank. I did 1700 something base XP which is quite high for for a tier 8 and um, I think it's because most of the damage is actually done on one tier higher tanks. Um, yeah, no snapshots with this gun, because not working very well, uh, yeah. So, here we go, guys. This tank is really capable of getting some bounces and shit, but I have was playing against T-34s, which were just auto-penning my top plate from this angle, kind of, so I thought it's not gonna be able, but yeah, there was weird stuff going around sometimes, right? Second kill we could achieve, 2000 damage, 1k blocked, 1500 spotted, which I think was working very well towards my mastery. Now we decided the heavy line is cleared and we need to make sure to help our teammates and 
or uh, at least go to the flag so we can secure it not being out capped or anything don't want to really go on the left here because the RHM might be camping in the K line ish 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 area so making sure I'm not getting any stupid side shots overall it's a nice game because don't forget this tank has 13 seconds reload time even though it doesn't feel that much um, together with the like overall more or less weird and uh, not weird but poor aiming time and uh, accuracy you will not have the biggest DPM in game so um, you need to make your shots count so I'd rather suggest especially with the especially with the armor you get take some time to aim those shots actually and make sure that you are not too hasty which you will see me doing hasting I mean soon but if you have to take the shot or you don't then just try for it. It can always work. We are still playing a Russian tank, right? So we did spot the Tyke P, so we got some nice assistance on him. And there you see, uh, there you go, there you see it. It's, it just didn't work in this case. So you just shot in the top part of my peak, Pike, whatever. So and I think he had a decent angle to penetrate it. So, uh, and still, it's 264 penetration on a on a Centurion 7-1. This, like, you know, I had the chance to n not shoot and not have a chance to hit him at all or to just go for it and take my chances. And I did, and it connected. That as well could have been a non non hitting shot like this one. But uh, overall, it was bad aimed as well. So the RHM is almost dead. We have a KV4 over there, but I'm gonna ignore him, making sure to take a gun out of the game, which is quite dangerous. Even though this guy doesn't have the big gun, I think. Um, I still... Oh no, it does have the big gun. So, I was one shot for him even, so... It's always good to take guns out of the game that can one shot you. KV4... I describe it the one of the not so bright lights. <laughs> He's not like really <laughs> lighting up anything with his appearance or this for example. I should have taken my time. There was no need to go hasty on it. The KV4 wasn't going anywhere, didn't plan to either. So I could have just taken my time, wait until the reticle is fully aimed, wait for a second longer and just have. Again. 480, uh, 280 assists, we are on 3k assists, 3.5 damage done, we are quite good according to the damage output and the, out the, the support damage we could do, together with 1k of um, blocked armor, I think that's the reason why this replay actually went out to be my mastery on this tank. Um, Although I'm still confused, to be honest, like 7,000 damage, uh, 3,000 or 4,000 damage I did here, or 4.5 I think it will be in the end. To be honest, for me it's not like super duper much, or uh, at least it, this game didn't really feel like the mastery. You know? We have so much tanks left, but you know, I'm not gonna con uh, like, like, uh, be too pissed about it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, what did I tell you about no snapshotting? <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's the replay on the defender. Oh, this is oh, look at this! I did a really nice pause here, guys. Epic, epic last words. So, is this tank any good? Yes, it is. It's totally overpowered. I don't think so. It does have its drawbacks, although most people might disagree. And as you know, m most people might be right, they might not. I don't know. I think it's really fun to play. It's not the most OP tank I know. I think I3 in a really brawl situation might might be able to out brawl this tank quite easily even. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and I see you on the next one.